Not my favorite circumstances. Wednesday was a really bright night with a nearly full moon. Car Pesus when hunting up in North Texas. Was still using the Bearing Optics Super Yoder R on my 6.5 Grindle. And following my buddy Dave's rule of studying cattle long enough, if you look at them long enough, you're bound to see a hog in there somewhere, and sure enough, there is a hog. And I swear sometimes these hogs just seem to materialize. I've been looking at this group for about 20 minutes, and the hog appeared in the middle somehow. So wind is in my favor, and I'm going to be making a straight-on approach towards the hog. Now, the Super Yoder R does not record audio, so I picked up a small USB voice recorder to see how it will do for recording audio for the hunt. As it turns out, it's going to fail, and I'm going to have to go back to using my mini spy camera in order to get audio. That's not going to matter so much on this first approach, because as I walked through the cattle, the cattle spooked. The cattle spooked the hog, and the hog took off running, and I never took a shot at it. And here, you're going to see it disappear behind the ridge. All right, we are up and running. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hogs, it looks like. I'm going to try to get a little closer. It was during this stock that the voice recorder failed, so I'm using the audio from the Petson Mini Spy Camera. I don't really like the audio from the Mini Spy Camera because it's not quite loud enough, but that's what we have for this stock. The reason why I haven't started shooting yet, despite having multiple opportunities, is that I'm trying to identify any sows in the group, and I'm not having much luck. So at this point I'm just thinking this is a bachelor group and I can pick any target I want. Now the hogs are going to end up running in front of the neighbor's house. Those are actually some nice people. I hunt their property so I'm not going to be shooting that direction. And they're going to continue off and cut back towards the house again. And so that effectively ended my hunt. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. The one bore down turned out to be a 170 pounder. And that was my last hog of the night. Friday night, full moon. I don't like full moons. Carpet Canis, I've got a coyote out in the pasture, and as you can see, I am backlit by a very full moon. I have also replaced the old voice recorder with a new USB voice recorder from a company called Rectroy. And as you're going to hear with the next clip, it seems like it's going to work very well. Here's the audio from the new voice recorder. You can hear it picks up a lot of additional sound. And as you can see, I've lined up behind a tree. I'm trying to kind of hide from being backlit by the moon. I'm right behind a tree. I think the coyote may have noticed me at this point, and I don't want to step out from behind the tree because the movement would obviously alert the coyote to what I am. Certainly something unrecognized, but at the same time, the wind is blowing towards the coyote. Probably a fine shot, but I think I'm a little too close to the tree to be safe, so I'm going to hold off. So I'm going to wait and see what happens. And the coyote bust me. So I start searching with my handheld, not realizing my rifle is actually picking up the coyote. Earlier in the evening, I ranged various landmarks in the field. I still know he's in shooting range. So I just got busted. So I'm going to wait and see if he stops. <laughs> the coyote turned out to be a good sized, healthy, and mature male. Moving on to the next property. Got hogs in the pasture and the wind is not working for me at all. 
The hog's in this direction, the wind is a slight crosswind blowing towards him. And then turning to the left, I've got hogs in the distance and I've got hogs downwind to me. That is not a good working situation. Here I moved up a short distance. Hoping to get a shot at the trailing hogs. The wind is blowing towards the hogs right now. Now these aren't particularly large hogs. I suspect that most of them are 100 pounds or less. And the vegetation isn't that high, but it's high enough to hide the smaller hogs. Not only that, it's high enough to hide shot opportunities from any of the larger hogs. Alright, let's see what we can do. Just over the ear of that one. I dropped that one in place. I failed to connect with that runner, but here in the distance... That's two connects with that one. A third hit. And finally she is down for good. And I can find no more targets of opportunity. Well, I've got two down, one found. She turned out to be a 100 pound sow down at 175 yards and that was the last hog of the night. Carpe sus, my friends.